set. And set free from the 1600, not a bad beginning this one. Farland is there, Morse, Naval Secret, Gentleman's Way has run up into third, then Banzai Pipeline. They are followed by Mr. Pigal. Further back in the runner's great affair, then Bugsy Malone, Master of Destiny, and Lady Serena's about 10, 11 lengths off the leader. And Morse is going along a nice clip up front as they move to the thousand. Farland is second. On the outside of that is Gentleman's Way, and then comes Naval Secret, Banzai Pipeline. Mr. Pigal's got the pink cap at the rail. Great affair on the outside, then Bugsy Malone, Master of Destiny, and Lady Serena's the trailer, still about a dozen lengths off the leader. Morse by about three, Farland second, Gentleman's Way's back in third. Then Naval Secret, Banzai Pipeline, Mr. Pigal's about nine or ten lengths off the leader. They are followed by Great Affair. Further back is Bugsy Malone, Master of Destiny, and Lady Serena. Top of the lane and Morse brings them in. Farland is second, and then comes Gentleman's Way. Naval Secret, Banzai Pipeline, Mr. Pigal's going to go in. Towards the outside of that one, Great Affair. Morse is the leader, Farland's the first one to challenge, Mr. Pigal's a runner down the inside, and Naval Secret's also trying to have a go at the leader. Farland past the 200 meter marker, down the inside, Mr. Pigal, Master of Destiny now comes alive, and Master of Destiny comes sweeping into the lead, Master of Destiny to win it, Farland will be second, third place, Naval Secret, close fourth, Banzai Pipeline or Mr. Pigal. So the victory is for number five, Master of Destiny, who makes up the ground. Sean Veal, Dennis Dreyer for the De Marinis, La Blanche de Chamois, and Jill Dreyer. And this one bred by Mr. De Marini and Dreyer. And Master of Destiny is the winner. And it pays up 490 and 170. Second, number three, Farland. Third position, if we run it across, we'll go to number eight, Naval Secret. And then probably Mr. Pigal will run fourth from Banzai Pipeline and Bugsy Malone. So the winner, Master of Destiny, comes from off the pays. And the son of Master of My Fate will wear them down. So Farland moves up to Moors. And the winner is three off the left, the green sleeves and the white cap, and goes for a split between runners. And then makes up the ground and Master of Destiny all of a sudden put into the race and gets to Farland and goes on to win going away. That's the running of the fifth race. Until race six, back to the studio. Well, the consistent son of Master of My Fate, Master of Destiny, bred by Pitt Marini and Jill Dreyer, owned by Pitt, uh, of course, Mr. De Chamoy and uh, Jill Dreyer as well, written by Sean Veal, Dennis Dreyer, and the, uh, of course, uh, the gentleman that takes care of him is Simpiwe. Simpiwe, hearty congratulations, my man. 1,000 Rand, Hollywood Vets and Gold Circle. Your horse has done you proud today. Well done to you. Thank well you. done to Simpiwe, 1,000 rand to him. Master of Destiny, well, let's get uh, Stuart Ferry in first whilst we wait for Sean Veal. And he's, a, he's such an honest campaigner, uh, Stu, that you're always going to get a good run, but it was so heartwarming to see him put his head in front today. Yeah, you know, he's, just, he's his own worst enemy, so he doesn't settle. When he settles, he's a different horse. You know, today they went on a nice pace, and uh, he was relaxed at the back, and once he was settled, he was always going to he was always going to run on. Well, for the guys, including uh, the boss's wife, he pays his way to racing, the horse. No, exactly. I mean, he's consistent, but it's, that's also just, you know, also frustrating when they don't get the head in front. But, you know, he's homebred, so well done to Pete and Jill, and nice to have Peter. Anything else from your side? No, we're done today, yes. Well, give our best to the boss. Well done to the dry team. Thanks, man. Lovely. Stuart Ferry. Let's get Sean Veal in, and uh, Sean's going to tell us a bit more about the horse because, you know, the. The trick was to try and settle him. How did things work out today? Oh, couldn't have asked for a better speed in the race. You know, he settled like a dream. And that's what he can produce if the pace is genuine, you know. Every time he runs, they're going slow, he's fighting. Today, 
my main thing today was just to get him to settle. Well done to Mr. De Marini. Plenty patience. Was rewarded him finally after running plenty seconds. But yes. uh, well done to the team again. Good team effort to this was. You know, he's, he's consistent, but at the same time, he's frustrating. But I'm glad that he deserved this one again. So just well done to everybody concerned, to the boss and his wife, Stewie and Kerry, well done. And to John Doe Corporation, thank you very much. And obviously to my wife and my two boys, this one's for them. Yes, I agree. He deserved this win. Now he is a three-time winner, Sean. Can you help us out later on? We've got a few races left. These, you know, that was give me a rainbow. Yes. He's drawn wide. But if I ride him the similar way and the speed is genuine, he'll, he'll, he'll run them down. Hope, I'm hoping that he can run them down. There's one or two they fancy in the race quite strong, but Mr. Hewitson's horses are all well, so I'm out there trying. Good ride. Thank well you done. very much. Well done, Sean Veal. Let's get Pete in. I haven't spoken to Pete for a while. I haven't seen him for a while. How are you doing firstly? Are you, are you surviving? Things are, are looking good? Are, are looking okay? Things are getting better, Pete? I hope so, Dees. Yes. If this is a sign of good things to come, maybe. Sure. Uh, yeah, we're just plodding on, trying our best. The horses are doing reasonably well, you know. But you need to win, Dees. Sure. You know, I think my last eight runs, six seconds and two thirds. So this is a welcome change. But when the horses are earning stakes, it does help the owner for the bull at the end of the month, doesn't it? Yeah, it does help. But the thing is, you've got a few others that are still <laughs> eating. <laughs> <laughs> but so, anyway, we thankful. Well done to Jill, Dennis, Stewie, Sean, Peter Barad. We know we've been trying to get the source to settle. And the only way was to drop him out, you know, and maybe we've learned something. And well, and also well done to Eugene at Boulan who uh, brought this horse out. You know, when I meet most people on course, <clears throat> I always think back to my early days uh, working and you were from the time I started, Pete. So. Mm. What's the trick for staying that long in the game? <laughs> Have money in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and the no. breeding side of it? I mean, you still you still enjoying that? Uh, very small now. Dee's just got uh, the one mare. And, uh, well, she, she's produced a horse, Red Soul. He's been, as I said, four seconds in a row. Um, he's got a sister and she's in training. And uh, I think she's in foal, or she no, she's got a future a cult. So, sure, so. Sure. So, going along very slowly, these. Very slowly, but you're still yeah. uh, enjoying the game, still loving it, and that's that's what matters, Pete. You know, you, yeah. you're still in the game. Yeah, we'll try, these. We're trying our best. So, but nice catching up, Pete. All the best here. Thank you very much, these. Well done to all the connection. They've been patient with the horse. Uh, master of Destiny, who's rewarded them uh, with a good win here in race number five.